This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellett. Here are some of the stories making headlines. The White House is deploying a COVID-19 surge team to southwest Missouri, where the Delta variant is fueling a rise in cases and hospitalizations. Springfield, Missouri hospitals are so overrun right now, they've started transferring patients to both St. Louis and Kansas City hospitals. Missouri now leads the entire country in new coronavirus cases per capita. Missouri surpassed Arkansas yesterday for the most new cases relative to the population. The state is averaging more than 1,000 new cases a day, and in just the last week, Missouri has had more cases than the entire Northeast. The first drawing in the Illinois vaccine lottery takes place today. The vaccine lottery will include 7 million in total cash prizes for adults over the age of 18. If you win, you will get a call or email from the Illinois Department of Public Health today. All people need to do get a vaccination or have already been vaccinated. There will be weekly drawings through August 26th. For a quick look at the forecast now, we send things to meteorologist Kent Derhart. Well, we've got plenty of humidity, but at least it's not as hot. We actually had a little cool front move through this morning and provide some cooler air, but it hasn't done much to uh, knock down the humidity. So still muggy, but not as hot. Uh, very humid, 5 to 10 mile per hour winds out of the northwest. The super predictor through the rest of the afternoon tries to bubble up a couple of thunderstorms to the east and south of St. Louis, but a fairly quiet evening and overnight hours and into Friday as well. Once we get to Friday afternoon, we see a couple of indications that maybe a stray shower or storm could bubble up mainly to the south of the St. Louis area, but watch what happens Friday night. This is key because while we do have a few storms around here, there there are some indications that we could see a big cluster of storms, a Boeing segment kind of roll through here overnight Friday night and into the uh, Saturday morning. Now, some of those storms have the potential to become severe. Then there are more showers and storms behind that as we get into the day on Saturday and uh, quite a bit of it as a matter of fact. So several periods of showers and thunderstorms possible and pretty much the same story for Sunday as well. With that big Boeing segment that moves through mainly on Friday night into early Saturday morning, there is a risk that there could be some severe storms with that. We may see that expanded over the next day or so and even for Saturday, there's still that risk, a low risk, that we could see some thunderstorms. But uh, this could be upgraded. Both of these severe weather outlooks could be upgraded between now and tomorrow, so we'll have to uh, keep you posted on that. Good ozone forecast today, and we're looking at a high count on the weed and mold, a low count on the grass, and the uh, tree pollen was absent. So 90 degrees on Friday with a 20% chance of mainly afternoon thunderstorms and into the evening, and especially overnight into Saturday. I'm just going with scattered storms on both Saturday and Sunday. It looks highly likely that we'll see rain. 86 on Saturday, 81 on on Sunday, it looks like a 30% chance of some rain and storms on Monday, hot and dry on Tuesday and Wednesday, and back to a rain chance again by Thursday next week. Thank you, Kent, and that is your News 4 update. Remember, we are always online at KMovie.com and your KMovie News app.